Good morning, everyone. Great morning. It is. You know why it's a good morning? Baby, because you woke up today. Somebody didn't wake up today, so we're going to bless the name of the Lord. Y'all excuse the lawnmower in the background. My neighbors are getting their yard cut. Hallelujah. But if you are watching this as a replay, let me say this. I pray the power of God hit you as if you were live. If everybody can come on in, though, tagging and sharing. Come on. There is definitely a message. Hallelujah. That I want to give to you today. Hallelujah. As you begin to go into your day on today, you guys come to God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on in. The quicker you begin to come in, hallelujah, and tag and share, the quicker God can begin to have his way. Powerhouse, how are you? Come on. I love you. God bless you. Come on. Can I get some of you guys to begin, hallelujah, to tag and share? Could I get everybody to tag 15 people they love, they care about, glory to God, and that they want to motivate on today. Come on. This morning, I want to release a life changing word that is literally the Messiah about to shift your situation. Come on in people of God and begin to share this live. Hallelujah. Great morning. Excuse me if I'm looking down. I am also sending out a few uh, glory to God invites to some people who I know need to be encouraged on today. Come on in everyone. Come on, great morning, people of God. Great morning, if I can get you to come on in. Hallelujah, tagging and sharing. Come on, that will be great. There is definitely a message. Come on, God bless you, Tara T, baby. Come on, the, may the blessings of God. Hallelujah, begin to run down. Hallelujah, the ones who are obedient on today. Come on in. Give me a second, you guys, as I begin to tag um, some people who I know is going to come in tagging and sharing hallelujah on today while they're jumping in. Glory be to God. Come on, you guys. Come on in. Come on. Come on. Hello. How are you? Great morning. Come on. Come on. Tag and share. Let's build this audience. Hallelujah. Come on, we gon' wait. We gon' wait. We gon' wait. The job is already yours, Shakira. I speak favor over you, baby. We got the same name. Come on, you guys. Come in tagging and sharing. Come on, come on. Give me a second as I use my other phone to invite some people, hallelujah, to this live. And there are some that are still sleeping. Glory to God. And, and there are others, hear me and hear me well. Hallelujah, that this live is for you at this very moment, this very hour, this very second. I am in a, a, a type of mood, glory to God, this morning. Um, and I want to release this word, but I need you guys to come in tagging and sharing. Please excuse me as I use uh, my other phone to invite some people to this live. It's very rare that you'll catch me on um, early in the morning, um, unless the Lord is giving me a word to release. And I truly believe I do have a word for the ones that are watching. Give me a second. Hallelujah. As I am inviting some, some people to this live this morning. Come on in. Hello, everyone. Come on. Come on. Good morning, Phyllis. I love you, queen. Y'all come on in. Glory to God. Just give me a second. As I'm sending out uh, my invites um, to everyone. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God bless everybody who you woke up today, God. God, we just thank you for being who you are. We thank you that there's nobody like you, nobody above you. Hallelujah. Come on in, everyone. Come on, come on. The quicker you tag and share, people of God, the quicker we can begin to build. Hallelujah. A audience. Just give me a second. Glory uh, uh, be to God. I'm going to give it about three minutes. And then either way, I'm going to go ahead and get started. You can also do me a favor and drop the at button at highlights at friends, at everyone in the comment section, and it will begin to tag your following to this post. Good morning, everyone. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. We're about there. 
I want to give it about two more minutes as I release this word. The Lord told me that today's encouraging and inspiring message for you, the one that's watching this video, is no more. Come on, no more, no more. Glory to God. Come on, I need you to continue to tag and share. Jada, I love you, baby. Y'all come on in and tag and share. Come on, because there's going to be a message on today. Nicola, I Nicole, I love you. I love you to life, Nicole. Come on, you guys. Come on, come on. Prophet is Tiffany. Lo love you, love your blessings. Come on, come on. Thank you, sis. Come on, I need y'all to tag and share. Come on, I'm doing great, Chanel. Could I get you to tag and share? Come on, you guys. Come on, let's push. I need some pushers on this morning. Uh, as we begin to build a audience, uh, people of God, uh, to you, the one that I'm ready to release this word. Hallelujah. I'm going to give it about two more minutes, y'all. Come on, tag and share. Let's get these numbers up. They say that the early bird get the warm. And watch this. When I release this message, see a lot of y'all, y'all come on my page a lot. So hearing me speak sometimes, it's just like, okay, it's her. I love her page. I follow her. She going to give me a little bit of motivation. And that's it. But when you are going through something, people of God, when you are battling something, when you are challenged with something, there are certain things that I may say that may trigger glory to God. A moment in your life. For you, the ones that are watching and who are coming in, if you have not, glory to God, tat, 15 people to this live. Come on, you ain't on one accord with us. We're trying to build, hallelujah, a army so strong this morning. Hallelujah, to tear down what the enemy is trying to hold up against you. I begin to speak to the Lord this morning, people of God. It started at 6 a.m. I woke up with these bad stomach pain and stomach cramps and I was in such pain I got to tap my husband and I said baby get up come on come walk me to the bathroom I, I begin to say hey Edwina Come on, I see all of my snipers in the spirit jumping on, tagging and sharing. Nicole Gallon, what's up? Watch this, people of God. I, I got woke up out of my sleep at 6 a.m. And my husband had to carry me to the bathroom because I was in such pain. And watch this. Anytime, people of God, the Lord begin to wake you up at your sleep in the middle. Hallelujah. Of the, the mid early morning hours. Sometimes it's because he woke you to pray because the enemy hallelujah is trying to set a trap so I'm in pain and my husband is carrying me to the bathroom I said baby turn on the hot shower and I need you to go get me glory to God to a leave I gotta set this foundation and then we're getting ready to go up so after he did that the last thing I instructed him to do was bring my cell phone and I said bring my cell phone because I gotta go into worship I don't know what this is about and you know he was a little irritated because I woke him out of his sleep but you know I don't do that unless I'm really in pain and I sat on the stool I'm like okay God I don't gotta use the restroom what is this? And it hurts so much that God, if it keep on going on, I'm going to have to go to the hospital. I begin to put on my worship music. I begin to say, God, what are you trying to tell me? And oh, Jesus, after sitting there about 45 minutes, just listening to worship and just praying while I'm in the middle of worship, my husband walks back in the bathroom. And he started to sing worship. I looked at him and told him, shut up. Hear what I'm saying to you. Some of y'all may say, oh, that's mean of you. No, no, no. When I'm before God, there's something taking place in my body and the spiritual realm. And I just need to hear from God. So I knew, even though he was worshiping, because he heard my phone playing worship, I knew, no, 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 no. There was a message God was trying to get to me. So he walked out of the bathroom after he stopped singing and he closed the sliding door of the bathroom. And I sat there on the toilet just a little bit more. Could I put this disclaimer out there for you, the one that's watching this video? Sometimes in the bathroom, when you're in the shower or on the toilet, that's when God speaks to you more. That's considered your alone time. So watch this, people of God. I'm in pain. I'm rocking. 
I'm holding my stomach. And I'm like, God, the debacle, sire, what is this? And the Lord began to tell me at 6 a.m. to start praying. He said to tell me, hallelujah, no more. I'm talking to you, the one that's watching this video. The Lord is instructing me to tell you today no more. I want everybody to just drop that in the comment section with capital letters. I promise you, I'm going to break this thing down. Come on, drop it in the comment section. No more. No more. No more. No more. I said, I, I said Daddy, God, what do you mean no more? He said, no more are you going to carry the weight of others. He said, no more are you going to carry the weight of stress. If I can make this live all about you, the one that's watching on today, I was cramping, hallelujah, in my body because I'm carrying the weight of the world. I was cramping in my body because I'm praying for so many people. I was cramping, glory to God, in my body because I'm the glory carrier in my family. Could I talk to some of you on today who because of your personal relationship with God, others are blessed who are connected to you. Could I talk to some of you on today who are the glory carriers in your family, who are the first responders in your family. Sometimes every ache and every pain in your body it's not coming from your health. Sometimes it's coming from the weight that you are carrying. God said no more. You, the one that's watching this video, if I can make this moment about you, I literally hear the Holy Spirit say to tell you, listen to me and listen to me well, that no more, hallelujah, will you begin to stress about the things you cannot change. I need you to hear me with your really good ear on today. I give the Lord saying, no more are you going to get up worrying about other people's issues and problems. I give the Lord saying no more huh? are you to get up huh? stressing about bills huh? i hear the lord saying no more huh? glory to god huh? are you to give your own self huh? my grace huh? trying to figure out huh? how god is gonna do it huh? for you the one that's watching this video i was in pain Somebody should put in the comment section, I'm in pain. I was in pain. See, some of you people of God, you're thinking that I'm just talking about natural pain. Because my stomach began to twist and turn. To a, watch this. It had me bent over in an unbearable state. But could I talk to you? It's something about people of God. When you begin to go through something and it calls you to bend over, not even realizing that you are in the perfect posture huh, to pray, huh, not even realizing huh, that you are in the perfect posture, glory to God, huh, to get on your knees huh, and cry out to God. Huh. God is saying huh, no more. Huh. Some of you, what I'm about to say huh, is about to hurt your feelings, huh, but I got to release it. Huh. Some of you, God is saying huh, there are some of you huh, that are watching. Huh, I get the Lord saying, huh, get it together. Huh. No more are you huh, to allow that a consigned, huh, your children's issues huh, to stress you out. Huh. Here, I'm, 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 hold up. Let me back it up and let me say it again because you might start feeling some kind of way. There are some of you that are watching. You cannot get to your goals. Glory to God. You cannot. Hallelujah. Get to your goals and you cannot get to your issues. Hear me and hear me well because of the simple fact hallelujah that you're putting everybody else and everything before you. But God said, when is it going to be about you again? God God said, when are your heart's desires going to matter? He said to tell the people of God, stay woke. Somebody put in the comment section, I'm woke. He woke me up at 6 a.m. Hallelujah. I was mad because I was woken out of a good sleep. And on top of being woken out of a good sleep, I was in pain. I'm talking to some of you that are watching. The Lord is saying, stay woke. you got to be able to identify just how the enemy is trying to break you down. Stay woke. You got to be able to identify just Jesus Christ. How the enemy is trying to break you down no more. No more are you to walk around stressed out and broken. 
Hallelujah. Because your relationship is not in a good place no more. Are you the Messiah? Are you to walk around? Glory to God. Because you feel like you are not where you really want to be in life no more. Are you the Messiah? I feel God this morning. Are you the Are you gonna walk around? Hallelujah. Feeling like woe is me. Sometimes people of God, when we know we're supposed to be further along in life, Hallelujah. We go into a state of depression. We go into a state of frustration. And the enemy is able to get you the same way every time. You might not be where you really want to be in life. But if you take a moment and think about it, you ain't where you used to be. Sometimes we get on social media and we compare other people's lives with ours. Not even realizing that even social media can be a gateway to depression. I hear the Lord saying to you, the one that is watching, uh, baby, what's for you? Uh, it's for you. Uh, somebody should put in the comment section uh, and not a devil in hell uh, can stop it. Uh, the Lord told me uh, today's inspirational message uh, before you go about your day uh, was no more. Drop it in the comment section. No more am I settling for disrespect. No, no more. Hallelujah. Am I getting down? Because my money looking funny. Who I'm speaking to? No more. Got up a shot. Am I allowing the children to stress me out? No more. Am I driving myself crazy? Come on, about what's going on in my family? No more. Got up a shot. Am I, am I, am I, hallelujah, putting the things before me? Hallelujah. Before I put myself first. No more. God is saying to you, the one that's watching this video, you, 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 you deserve so much more than you are settling for. Do you get what I'm saying? You deserve so much more than you are settling for. And there are some of you, if I could just be honest, because life seems so normal, just the way it is, you've gotten to that stage where you are Okay, with the devil beating you down, when do you get back up and you stand up and you begin to say no more? I even hear the Lord saying in the spiritual realm that we are only in November. And there are some of you, because we are moving into the holidays, you have already picked up that repetitive spirit of being down and depressed for the holidays. And the reason being is because you used to being alone. And the reason being is because you don't got nobody to celebrate you uh, uh, celebrate it with. And the reason being is because maybe the person who you were in a relationship with before, you ain't got them this year. Maybe the reason being is because you want to give your kids a better Christmas than you did last year. So that spirit is already kicking in. When everybody follow la 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 for the holidays, when everybody ready, glory to God, to celebrate for the holidays, here you are again, depressed. How do you keep allowing the enemy to get you back in the same state year after year? After year, I break it by fire right now in the name of Jesus. Not another year being depressed for the holidays. No more. Somebody should drop that in the comment section. No more. No, that book will see. I feel it all in my spirit. No more. No, 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 no. You got to beat the enemy to the punch. Some of y'all wait around for the devil to come and sneak up on you and lurk and get in your personal space. And before you know it, he got you again. No more. Keep your eyes open. Eagles can see their enemies before they get up on them. No more. When you heard the saying, birds of a feather flock together, huh? baby, unless they're an eagle. Huh? Come on, eagles are the only birds. Huh? They don't mind riding out alone. Huh? You got to get to a place huh? where you say, huh? I'm in a position huh? where devil you won't get me. Huh? The same way you got me last time. No more. No more are you able. You hear me? You ain't got the permission to keep letting the devil beat you down no more you don't got the permission glory to god to keep letting people use you no more you don't got the permission
permission to allow these big grown kids, glory to God, to determine, hallelujah, how you going to feel for the day. No more. There are times, people of God, where we got to sit back and say, I'm making today about me. I dare somebody to put in the comment section. It's about me. It's about me today. I love my children. I love my spouse. I love my friends. I love my ministry. But baby, it's about me today. Because if I don't work on me, I can't be the best version. You need me to be. I'm talking to you that's watching. No more. And as you begin to degree that in the atmosphere, it makes the enemy matter and matter and matter. Oh, I want somebody to start dropping huh, the angry emojis huh, in the comment section. I'm mad today. Huh. You, you, you I'm, I'm walking on the job. Huh. I ain't got a problem with nobody. Huh. Come on, who is this for? Huh. If you won't smoke, it'll be smoke. Huh. I ain't got a problem with nobody. Huh. But I'm mad in the spiritual realm today. Huh. I'm upset with the enemy huh, for even trying me. Huh. He must inject my resume. Huh. The way I bounce back, huh. you got to get mad with the devil huh, and begin to tell him no more you don't have the authority to give up oh i'm talking to you i'm talking to you the one that's watching this video yeah it's me and you on here i know it's thousands of people watching but baby this personal this morning i'm talking to you you do not have the authority to, to quit you do not have the authority to give in you do not have the authority to throw in the towel why you done been through too much hell you don't even got the permission to do it. The way you're moving right now, it ain't even in your character. Shake yourself and get yourself together. No more. Are you, watch this, when God bless you with it this time, no more are you going to lose it all again. There are some of you, you took some losses, baby, in 2024. And you ain't, you ain't ashamed of it. You ought to put it all in the comment section. I, baby, I done took some losses. I done took some losses. Some of y'all, y'all done lost some friends. Some of y'all, y'all done lost some family. Come on, I want to see that in the comment section. I done took some losses. Some of y'all, y'all done lost some businesses. Some of y'all, y'all done almost lost your mind. Some of y'all, uh, come on, y'all done made some bad investments. I love you too, uh, Andromeda. Uh, y'all done, y'all done, y'all done took some losses. But baby, no more. At some point, you got to get tired of being stuck where you are. No more. At, at some point, you got to say, no more am I turning to the bottle or I'm turning to drugs or no more am I turning to the phone to tell my fake friend about it when I know they don't mean me well. No more. God said to you, the one that's watching this video, my beloved daughter, he said, my dear son, Jeremiah 29 and 11 said, for I know the plans I have for you. I got some plans for you, says the Lord, but we can't even start on the plans I got for you until you begin to declare to that thing, to that person, place or thing, no more. No more are you going to stress about the things you can not change. No more. No more am I going to, hallelujah, give the enemy more credit than I give the big God I serve credit. No more. We wake up and we say things like, the devil is busy. The devil is a liar. Yeah, the devil is a liar. And his mammy is too. Yeah, the devil is busy. But our God is bigger. It's busier. We got to stop giving the enemy credit. No more. You're going to drive yourself uh, to a hospital bed, uh, stressed out. Uh, you're stressing over your kids uh, while they're not enjoying themselves. Uh, no more, mother. I'm talking to you, mama. You. 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 No more. Sometimes we give our all to everybody but the right thing. We give our all to everybody but the right thing. Come on, if you somebody that's been giving your all, you ought to put in the comment section, all oh, stress after stress after stress after stress. The Lord is saying no more. Two words about to shift your situation as you go today. No more. Getting these calls from the bill collectors, baby, no more. 
I treat the bill collector calls like scam likely. Who? I don't want to talk about it. I've already given it to God. I'm going to pay it when I pay it. Y'all are stressing about things you cannot change. And it's driving you crazy. I get the Lord saying, stop letting people, places, and things stress you out. You cannot make proper decisions out of stress. So whatever is stressing you, baby, you got to put it on pause. Why are you depressed? Because it's November and December again. You've been good all year long. Now that depression is kicking in like it do every year. 2020, it was depressed November and December for the holidays. 2021, you got bad anxiety. Hallelujah. Uh, for the holidays, 2022 came up and, and you was mentally uh, all over the place. Uh, for the holidays, 2023 came up. Glory to God. You, you, you had suicidal thoughts because what is the real purpose when I'm praying and praying and it seems like God ain't hearing me. Come on, 2024 is here. And you feel that spirit creeping up again. And you're allowing it to no more. And when you begin to declare no more, people of God, watch this. Everybody going to have a problem with it. When you begin to declare no more, it's going to be an issue to some people who are connected to you. When you begin to decree and declare no more, you're going to piss the devil off. The attacks are going to intensify. I need you to hear me on today. Put your ear a little close to the phone. When the devil goes shy, you begin to declare a thing like no more. Your no more may be different from my no more. Yo more, no more may be, no more do I got money to loan out. Because when I ain't got it, baby, where everybody at? Yo no more, baby, no more am I trying to buy friendship uh, or family members. Uh, yo no more to the Bronco uh, may be people of God. Uh, no more uh, am I going to allow these suicidal thoughts uh, to come up. Uh, yo no more, people of God, uh, may be. Uh, no more uh, am I going to cry over something uh, that God placed six feet deep uh, in the ground. Uh, yo no more, people of God, uh, may be. Uh, no longer uh, am I going to stress about this relationship. Uh, what's for me it's for me, uh, and anything that leave out uh, didn't belong to me, no way. Uh, no, no more, uh, people of God, uh, may be. Uh, no more am I allowing uh, the enemy uh, to push me to get a divorce. Uh, no, no more, uh, people of God, uh, may be. Uh, no more uh, am I getting frustrated, uh, hallelujah, about the business. Uh, God, uh, you got to send the clients in, because uh, I can't do it uh, all by myself. Uh, no more, uh, you no know more, people of God. Maybe the fact that I'm going to go with the doctor's report. I know what the doctor said, but I know what my body's telling me. Yo, no more, people of God. Maybe no more am I chasing down lies that have been told on me. Yo, no more, people of God. Maybe no more am I walking on the car lot looking for a car. Glory to God. Stress out about it because they might say I need a gold signer. No, Jesus. Jesus Christ, uh, yo no more, uh, people of God, uh, may be, uh, no more, uh, am I stressing uh, over a place to live, uh, God, uh, he gotta do it himself, uh, yo no more, Jesus, I feel that in my spirit, uh, people of God may be, uh, no more, uh, am I stressed uh, over what the people doing on the job, uh, yo no more, people of God, uh, may be, uh, no more, uh, am I living paycheck to paycheck, uh, yo no more, uh, may be, people of God, uh, no more, Am I stressed over the court case? The court case might not be for you. It might be for your loved one, but no more. Somebody should put in the comment section, no more. No more. Will I be cursed under generational curses? The generational curse, it stopped when it made it to me. 
Somebody put in the comment section when it made it to me. No more. No more am I allowing people, hallelujah, to play on my intelligence. There are some of you, you ought to tell people, stop insulting my intelligence. It's not that I don't see what you're doing to me. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to play the fool to the fool. When you can see in the spiritual realm, hallelujah, your discernment begins to tell you in advance. But don't get this big heart twisted. I see, hallelujah, what's in you. It's my heart that's allowing me to love you. Even when you don't deserve my love. Sometimes you got to play the fool to the fool. No more. I hear the Lord saying, no more, Roxanne. Vasquez, no more, no more Monica Rogers, no more, no more am I stressing about the things I cannot change, God told me to come and tell you, the one that's watching this video, I got plans for you, I get the Lord saying big, big plans, big, big plans, but he's saying people of God, I cannot allow you to walk those plans out, if you are consistently allowing the enemy to beat you down with the same thing huh? over huh? and over huh? and over. Huh? How is the enemy continuously huh? able to attack you in the same area huh? and you have not gotten it yet? Huh? Shame on you. Huh? But what I will say huh? to you, the one that's watching this video, huh? you don't have permission to quit. You ain't got the authority to quit. You ain't quit on that man that's been taking you through hell. But you want to give up on yourself? I said huh, what I said. Huh, you don't have the authority to quit. You better get yourself together. Because God has something big in store for you. And it's going to require you to set some boundaries. It's going to require you to speak some things over yourself. It's going to require you to put your foot down about some things no more no more am i making myself available for people who don't make themselves available for me no more am i putting your wants your needs and desires before mine no more am i carrying the weight glory to god of others no more am i allowing the enemy to creep into my mind and tell me the opposite of what god said about me no more am i allowing you to play on my intelligence no more Am I afraid to walk, hallelujah, into a bank or into a courtroom or into any place? Not walking in there like God sent me. No more. I, I sat on the stool six o'clock this morning. I started getting these bad stomach pains. So excruciating pain. Six o'clock in the morning, God woke me out of a good sleep. To where my husband had to walk me to the bathroom. Give me some leave to take while sitting on the toilet. Sat there for 45 minutes. Didn't have to use the restroom. Made my husband give me my phone and went into worship and went into prayer. And the Lord began to say, hallelujah, that these pains that you are carrying, it's because, hallelujah, of what you're carrying. You are not obligated to give up. No. That's what the devil wants you to do. You better hear what I'm saying to you. I'm talking to you, Kim Lewis. You're not obligated to give in and quit. I'm talking to you, Julia. I need y'all to get this in the spiritual realm. Sometimes the pain you are carrying, it's not a body pain. It's the weight you're carrying. And the worst part is when it's the weight of other people and other issues. Stop. Allowing the enemy to beat you up about things that you cannot change. Stop. Stop. You're stressing yourself out. Can't even enjoy your day. Stop. You don't think God know you, you got bills to pay? You don't, you don't think God know like you behind in your rent? You don't think God know you want to give your kids a good Christmas? You don't think God know you want to be held at night? Glory to God. Hallelujah with somebody. Hallelujah who really for you and who appreciate you. You don't think God know. Glory to God that you really want them to work out your relationship. You don't think God know. Hallelujah. That all you want for Christmas is your own baby. You want to bear your own child. You don't think God know. 
know that you need a bigger or better job? You don't think God know that you tired of being mama and daddy to your kids? You don't think he know that you want to just be done with the court case? You don't think he know that you need the keys? He know. What he trying to figure out is why are you stressing about things that he is supposed to change, man? Why are you stressing about things that God is supposed to change? So the encouraging word this morning is really simply, simple, two words, no more. No more am I allowing, come on, the enemy to beat me down. No more, hallelujah, am, am, am I going to be triggered, hallelujah, to go back to what I've already leveled up from. No more am I going to let my current state keep me bound. No, because where I am at right now is only temporary. I'm in transition. I'm transitioning to the best of my life. I'm transitioning to what God said he had He had for me. I'm, I'm in a transition process. Don't get it twisted. You got to begin to say, man, no more. You got to begin to say, no more. I don't know why I'm feeling in my spirit. Literally. Like for the next 60 seconds. You need to drop the thing, hallelujah, in the comment, that you're believing God, the tobacco shire, hallelujah, to declare no more of it, hallelujah for you. If you're saying no more of the enemy attacking my relationship, come on, start now, drop relationship. If you're saying no more, hallelujah, smoking drugs or smoking cigarettes, drop it there. Baby, I don't care who see what I'm going through. I just want to drop it when the waters are stirring. If you're saying, glory to God, no more of financial struggles, drop it. No more. Hallelujah. Going through it in my marriage or my relationship. Drop it. No more of the enemy attacking my children. You ought to declare that this morning. Sometimes you got to get up early. Glory to God. And speak over yourself. Sometimes you got to get up early and begin to say things like what my mama and daddy went through will not follow me. Sometimes you got to get up and say, I know it was a generational curse, but it stopped when it made it to me. Sometimes you got to get up and you got to say over yourself, you're the bomb.com. You are the lender and not the borrower. You are above and not beneath. Devil, I know what you're telling me in my ear. I see what you may have going on in my life, but no more am I going by what I see. I'm moving in faith. I'm moving on the promises of God. No more. Declare it then, Nicole. No more unforgiveness. A lot of, the, of my clients that are on here, that I, I, I counsel, and they'll tell you I'm a straight shooter. I tell them when they wrong, I tell them when they right. I know, why are you still letting the enemy get you with the same stuff? If that was your test a year ago, two years ago, why it's a whole nother year and you falling for the same stuff, Edwina? Why? No more. Am I allowing the devil to get one up on me? No more. Am I giving up because they closed the door in my face? Some of you have gotten denials and you ain't even go back at it again. Well, I guess it ain't for me. The devil is a liar. Maybe it just wasn't the time then. No. No. Y'all get a disapproved or, 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 or denial and you just let it go. No, 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 no. I know what God promised me. Maybe it just wasn't my time then, but now I'm in a new season and I'm going back at it. Somebody should drop in the comment section. I'm going back at it because what God got for me is for me. No more. The Bible says that whatever I ask for in my father name, as long as I believe it is mine, but you cannot be like a bobblehead. Back and forth. I believe God, I don't. I believe God, I don't. It, it, it's kind of like that. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He lo You all over the place. No more are you allowed to let the enemy beat you down. I'm talking to you, the one that is watching this morning. I know you got to go about your day. I get it, Roxanne. You, you got to go about your day, Letitia. I get it. 
You only click this live because somebody tagged you in it. I get it, Sue. Maybe you are on the live just because you were scrolling and it popped up. But Ruth, sometimes Ruth Brown, the Lord will give us confirmation to somebody else. Glory to God. Do you get what I'm saying? Etna Jones, no more pain. Hallelujah. In your body, I speak it into the atmosphere. Valerie Jackson, do you believe that God can do what he said he would do? Margaret, do you believe he would come for you? Hallelujah. And rescue you out of a dry place, Trina Daniel. There is no God like the God we serve. Hear me and hear me well, Keisha Jones. This is your season. Chocolate doll is God before you, baby. Not a devil and hell can come up against you, Nakisha. You don't have the right to give up. Latoya, you better stand up uh, and go at the enemy again uh, and let him know uh, glory to God. Uh, not another day, Erica. Uh, I've seen you uh, bounce back uh, from working on a pole, Erica. Uh, I've seen you uh, bounce back uh, from being on drugs. Uh, took your classes. Uh, got your children back. Uh, and now uh, you're one of the best mothers there is. Uh, it was a generational curse uh, that fell off your mama. Uh, but when it got to you, Erica, uh, I give the Lord saying uh, that it stopped. Uh, it shouldn't fall uh, on your children. Phyllis, uh, the way you pour uh, into others, baby. Uh, God got to show up uh, for you. Uh, you deserve every good thing uh, that is happening to you right now. Uh, and Phyllis, uh, don't let a demon uh, try to stop it. Uh, what God put together, uh, let no man separate. Uh, Phyllis, other people's opinions uh, don't even matter. I'm talking to you, Tommy Brown. You ain't got the option to give up. Today's encouraging message, Crystal, was really simple. Today's encouraging message was watch this no more. No more, no more, no more am I going to allow, hallelujah, the things I cannot change to stress me out. Chantrell Holiday, I love you to life, queen. I admire your strength. Not because you lost the daughter, woman of God, but because, glory to God, when life throw things at you, you get back up. I've been watching you way back then. Glory to God. When people was hating just because, hallelujah, you, you sent your kids to school looking good. No more, woman of God. Shall they raise up their tongues against you? I decree and declare their tongues shall cling to the top of their mouths. Every time they mention your name, Erica T. God is saying, the rest of this year is about to be the best of this year for you. Y'all better quit dancing with the devil. Ho, oh, no more. No more am I carrying other people's burdens. No more am I carrying other people's weight. No more am I putting other people before me. No more. Sometimes you got to be a little selfish. Because people will break you all the way down, baby. Hallelujah to your lowest. And won't even be there to pick you up. Do you get what I'm saying, Demika Brown? You got to begin to, hallelujah, set goals and actually stick to them. I get on the people who are closest to me. I don't want to get what you're going to do this year. You said it last year. I want you to just do it. We can speak anything. Speak over yourself and put action to it. You deserve the best of the best. Fashionable Rocky. But what you don't got permission to do, and I'm going to let you go, you ain't got permission to give up. No. No. I'm bringing a dynamic word at my church, hallelujah, uh, 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 this Sunday. And, and, and it's my first time speaking at my new church that I recently switched over to. And the way I'm telling you, I was in pain this morning in my body. The Lord just began to tell me, you carry so much weight pain unbearable pain sometimes people of God we focus on the pain I feel the Lord saying the pain is to push you the pain is to make you get up from that comfortable state and move you are going through pain because you are transitioning to your next. It's the only way to get you out of that comfortable spot. No more. 
I wanted to declare this to you as you go about your day. No more are you chasing down lies that have been said about you. No more are you going to allow the same things to trigger you over and over no more hallelujah should you allow the same thing hallelujah to be said in your ear to get you to open your legs for somebody yeah I said what I said because what I am learning about women all of us women hallelujah is that glory to God with all of us women we're very emotional we love hallelujah we're nurturers we love to be loved and even being married coming up on 21 years married to my husband in February even the double Child, within being married, Erica, that's why you better be in church this Sunday. I told you that. Even while, glory to God, hear me and hear me well. Uh, 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 being, hallelujah, my marriage coming up on 21 years, my husband still know what to say to get me to spread these legs. I'm telling you, sometimes people of God, uh, 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 we just want to get three little words. I love you. Oh, you love me? Boom. Let's go back. Let's wind up like this, like Lamborghini does. I was there. We done all been there, ladies. Oh, I love you. You love me? Hell, here go the keys to my car. Here go the keys to my house. You love me? You, you love me? Oh, oh, man, you got to know your worth. Oh, lock the pump pump down. If they just talking about it and not being about it, no more in this season are people going to be able to tell you they love you and don't got no action behind it. I'm just keeping it real. Lock it down. Click, clack. Click, clack. The fish market is closed. The fish market is closed. Don't just say you love me, baby. Show me. Who? My husband asked me for something the other day. I said, well, what? how much you going to pay me for it? You got to pay for this. Girl, all that belonged to me. Well, but who? Who? I know the quality of what I got. I need my hair done, my nails done. You, be, you know, we laugh and we joke like that. But you got to do little things to keep it spiced up. I ain't been married 21 years for nothing. I'm 41. I've been married since 20. Who? Baby, you go, who? I know what. I know the fish I carry. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's nutrition to you. I ain't playing. Y'all better stop that. These men ain't got no rings on y'all finger, but they're, they're able to determine the way you feel emotionally no more. I'm saying some real stuff. I'm making you laugh. But ladies, y'all know I'm speaking. Man. Y'all know I'm speaking the truth. The fish market is closed. Stop letting these men tell y'all they love y'all. and Boom. Legs up. Like Lamborghini does. You ain't never drove a Lamborghini a day in your life, but them legs go up and they stay there and they stay there. No, no. I'm speaking some real stuff. Set boundaries. Tell the devil he's a liar. And I'm telling you, it's about you. Make it about you as you go by your day today. It ain't about your family. It ain't about your children. It ain't about your significant other. It ain't about what the doctor said about your health. It ain't about the rent man. It ain't about LP and L lights. It ain't about the water bill. It ain't about the cable bill. It ain't about the car insurance. It ain't about what you drive. It ain't, it ain't about your hustle. Whether you doing hell, whether you doing Uber, whether you flipping burgers, whether you running a business, it ain't about none of that. If you don't start with you. But what you ain't gonna do on today, what's today's day? Hold on. Somebody drop today's day. Hold on. What you ain't going to do on November the 7th of 2024 is give up. You ain't going to do that, chocolate dog. I don't care what's coming against you. Do you get what I'm saying to you, Marquina? Hear me with your good ear. What you ain't going to do on November the 7th at 10.57 a.m. is give up. No. No more. No more of you starting stuff. And not finishing it. I want everybody to drop that in the comment section. November the 7th. 2024. November the 7th. 2020. Baby, no more. No more. November the 7th. 20. 
24. And I, I'm believing God to do something for you, the one that's watching in the next 11 hours. <clears throat> Today is November the 7th, 2024. I just heard this spiritually. Seven, hallelujah. That's how many days in the week. That's also the number, hallelujah, of, of, of completion. 2024, people of God, is the year. It's 24 hours in a day. So we got 24, which is 24 hours in a day that the enemy going to try your gates. Hallelujah. We got today's day. It's the seventh. Hallelujah. That's seven days a week. Hallelujah. That the devil, the devil, I hear you, God. The devil going to try you. Monday, Tuesday. What about the sun go? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday and Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. See, you got to be old school to know that. When I think about you, uh-uh, my feelings can't. Okay, let me break it back. Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. The devil, I'm just giving you a little, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm goofy like that. But the enemy going to try you. 2024 stands for 24 hours a day. The devil on your trail, you became a target because he knows what God finna bless you with. Today is the seventh. Glory to God, people of God. So seven days a week, he gonna show up seeing if you got any weak spaces so we can kick the dough in. He gonna see if you got the dough. The dough cracked a little bit because you a little bit down, a little bit depressed all week long just to keep the dough in. Kick the door in and come all the way in and wreck shop. Hallelujah. In your household, whatever. In your business, that's the way he gonna work. But it's also the month of um, November, which is the number 11. I'm believing God, glory be to God, within the, the next 11 hours, God do something for you, the one that's, I'm believing God. Do you, do you think that God can do it? Do you, do you believe that God, uh, glory to God, people of God, uh, will begin to show up? Uh, do you believe that there's nothing, glory to God, uh, hallelujah, too hard, uh, for the God that we serve? Uh, do you believe somebody should be putting, I believe? Somebody, uh, somebody should be putting, I believe. Somebody should be putting, I, I believe, all the hell I be going through. It's not by coincidence that I am on here today. I hear the Lord saying, no more. Some of y'all just laid down and just let the devil just do what he want to you. you like, this is my life. This is where I'm at. This is the space I am in. And you are okay with it. And I'm asking you why. Why? Why are you okay with it? I get the Lord saying no more. I got to get ready to let you guys go. But before you guys go, there's a declaration that I want to put out. Today is November the 7th, 2024. I said today's message, people of God, was simple. It was no more. I don't know what you're believing God for. But the first thing I want you to do is pray and ask God, should you sow into my ministry? I'm getting ready to release a prophet word, prophetic word. And as I release this prophetic word, I want you to pray and ask the Lord, should you give into my ministry? And then once the Lord releases you to, do not give unless the Lord releases you to because I need the word of God, hallelujah, to line up. I need your faith to line up with what I'm about to speak over your life. Your no more situation might be, glory to God, different from my no more situation. But I hear the Lord saying things are about to get ready to shift for you within the next 11 hours. November the 7th, 2024. We're getting ready to sow a November the 7th, 2024 seed. I want some of you right now to run right now very quickly and sow a seed of $24, hallelujah, and 71 cents. The phone number is pinned to the bottom, 754-971-3301. This is going to be the phone number for Cash App and Apple Pay. When you're putting in the phone number, people of God, for Apple, um, for Cash App, I want you to put in the full phone number and to Dr. Glory to God, Shakira McFadden pops up. You know if this message was for you. Some people, when they hear you talking about money, they run. 
Some of you, they hear you talking about money and they run. You know if today's no more message was for you. No more am I going to another gear. Hallelujah. Living off a of minimum wage. Living off the government. Living paycheck to paycheck. Struggling in my business. Worrying about my marriage. Worrying about my ministry. No more am I going into another year. Unhappy. Broken. Frustrated. No more am I allowing. Hallelujah. People, problems, issues, and circumstances to be dropped on me no more no more you're gonna run in and so hallelujah the phone number is at the bottom of the screen erica t 754-971-3301 is for cash app and apple pay and as you're sewing the 24 dollars and it's 71 cent i need you to put in the memo section no more lakia williams yes after just give it about three minutes with Cash App and, and, and Apple Pay. And then I'm going to put in the bottom section a phone number that is for Zelle, Chime, PayPal, Venmo, and Varo. Right now the number is up for Cash App and Apple Pay only. Hold on one second, Erica Young. And if you guys really want to sew, you're going to wait. You know what this message was for you. You better run and sew it. 2471. But there are some of you that are watching you say, Dr. Shakira McFadden, if I can be honest with you, it's not just one thing I need God to do. You said this is an ongoing thing, issue after issue after issue after issue. So you say, Dr. Shakira McFadden, there's a lot of things I need to declare no more for. And you say, I, I don't want to sow the $24.71. And I'll be sowing a hundred times. You say, I just want to sow one flat seed of $50. I'm sowing this all around seed of $50 because God, I need you to move everywhere. I, I need you to do it for me and do it for my children. I need you to do it in my health and do it in the courthouse. I need you to do it in my body and do it in my business. You say, I need, God, I, I got to sow this $50 seed. 754-971-3301. And you say, this Monday more, I mean, this, this morning motivation was for me. I'm getting ready to pin at the bottom for a second. And I'm going to put Cash App and um, Apple Pay back up, you guys. Let me pin the information for the ones who are trying to sow the Azale, Ch um, Chime, PayPal, Venmo, Varo, and Givelify. The phone number is at the bottom, 754-246-0580. Come on, come on, come on. If you genuinely don't have it, you ain't got to say you don't got it. Because God already genuinely know you don't got it. He's going to bless you. Not having is not having. Not having is just don't have it. That's genuinely not having. Now I'm having it and say, but I got some other stuff to do. That's not not having it. Sometimes God will put you in a place, people of God, where you have no other choice but to step out on faith to change your situation. It, I, I always say this to people. A woman knows when they're fully done with a man. They'll put up with whatever they put up with over and over and over and over and over. But they know when they're tired and they're ready to walk. They know that. <laughs> Eventually they know. Come on, as you sow, I want you to drop in the comment section the amount you sold in the word done. Give me a second. I'm getting ready to put cash out back up. 754-246-0580. It's for Zelle. Gum Ministries is going to pop up. G-U-M Ministries. It's for Chime. Same phone number. PayPal. Same phone number. Venmo and Varo. Venmo and Varo. Those are like Cash App on uh, um, bank uh, 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 apps. Same phone number. Givelify, people of God. It's the same phone number. You can even go to givelify.com and put in the phone number. Secure McFadden Ministries will pop up. Or you can click the link in my bio. Come on, drop the amount you sold with the word done. I'm getting ready to put back up for Cash App. I'm going to take my time with this, people of God, because people are sowing. Pray, pray, pray. Do not sow into my ministry unless the Lord is telling you to. The phone number is back down to the bottom. 754-971-3301, people of God. And this is for Cash App and Apple Pay only. Come on, some of y'all better sow. You better pray about it and move. Pray about it and move. There are some of you saying, Dr. Shakira McFadden, I don't know about this seed stuff. I never sowed a seed a day of my life. So it's like the Lord, hallelujah, is tugging on your spirit. But I'm telling you, there are some situations where you literally got to put a, 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 a speed on your need. And you got to do something different to get different results. 
You confuse the enemy by doing something different. Last night on my counseling session, I told the young lady while I was counseling her, I say, um, let me give you an example. If somebody is trying to rob you and you take the same way home every day, you drive and you make a left behind the Walmart, you go down and you make a right at the second stop sign and you go straight down until you pull into your house. If I'm going to rob you, I already know, hallelujah, the route that you're literally the Shire, about to take. Thank you so much, Erica T., for that. I, I, I know the route, glory to God, that you're literally about to take. It's easy for me to set you up. But if you just decide, say, sometimes I'm going to take the turnpike, head down. I'm going to make a love by McDonald's instead of making the love by Walmart. And I'm going to take the back way up. Hear me and hear me well. The devil cannot touch you. You got to confuse the enemy. So some of you, you've never sold the seed. And this is a first for you. But I decree and declare in the atmosphere. By the power of God invested in me. That as you go before the Lord and the Lord releases you to sow. That you will see this is good ground. Come on and begin to put in the comment section. Hallelujah. Come on, drop it in the comment section. The amount you sold and the word done. Come on. Y'all making the devil bad today. 754-971-3301. That is the phone number for Cash App and Apple Pay only. Cash App and Apple Pay only. Put in the full Cash App. And to Dr. Shakira McFadden pop up, I got on a black dress. 754-971-3301. Apple Pay. Come on, there's a bunch of people sewing. I want to call out some names. Hallelujah. In the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Of some people. Uh, Wilhelmina Wilson. And excuse me. Hallelujah. If I if I call your name and pronounce it wrong. You guys, please come back on when you sew. So many people, they come back on. I mean, they sew and they jump off. I like to bless the seeds. Come on, you guys. Um, Wilhelmina Wilson. Okay. The chime number. Hold on, woman of God. The chime number is a different number. It's the other number. 754-2460580 is for chime. And it's for Zale. Chime and Zale. Okay. Drop the amount you sold in the word done. $50 seed is your all-around seed. God do it everywhere. It's a stretch. But you know that this word was for you. Today's message was no more. No more am I living in lack. No more am I living in poverty. April Basie. I'm going to put Zell back up again for everybody right now. Zell, Chime, PayPal, Venmo, Borrow, and Givelify. Givelify lets you pay with a card. You can also, people of God, go in my inbox and you can do it through the Facebook app too. It allows you to pay through Facebook pay. Hold on, I'm getting ready to put it back up for sale, you guys. The phone number at the bottom, I'm getting ready to bless the seeds, just hold on. The phone number at the bottom for the ones who are asking for sale, it's there. 754-246-0580. It's there for sale at the bottom. Gum Ministries is going to pop up. G-U-M Ministries. That's also the same phone number for Chime, you guys. It's the same phone number for PayPal. It's the same phone number for Venmo Bank and Varro Bank. Those are apps like Cash App. I prefer them over Cash App. Y'all need to go look into that, y'all. Um, and then you have Givelify, where you can pay with a card. Click the link in my bio. As a matter of fact, I'm going to drop the Givelify link in the comments, too. Where you can pay with a card. Okay. Alright, you guys screenshot that because I'm getting ready to put back up Cash App and Apple Pay. Hold on up, you guys, because I want to call out some names of some people who have sold. Let me put this back up first. Some of the seeds you're sowing, it's not for you, but it's for your children, man. Y'all, y'all gotta pray about it. There are some of you that are watching you say, Dr. Shakir McFay, I don't have $24.71. I don't have $50. I want you to sow your best seed. Hallelujah. Of $12. Come on and run and sow that $12 seed. This, that, that's your, this is my best seed. You say that's all I got, but I'm, 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 I'm trusting the Lord with it. Come on. I want you to run and sow that $12 seed. 
If you are somebody who's watching right now, hallelujah, and you're sowing glory to God for your children, I want you to run and sow that $12 seed. That $12 seed is a, this is my best seed, but it's also a seed, hallelujah, for someone who is believing God for their child. I don't know what this is for. You're believing God for your child. Something is going on with your child. Maybe they're being bullied. Maybe they're in the streets. Maybe they're incarcerated. Glory to God. But something is going on with your child. I want you to begin to sow a seed. My best seed. The woman of God say, I sold my best. My best seed was $7. God bless you, woman of God. 754-971-3301. Let me call out some names, people of God. Just give me a second. Um, Wilhelmina Wilson, seed received, fashionable, seed received, Virginia Jones, seed received, Brandy Green, God bless your seed, seed received, Tiffany, God bless your seed, Shamar, Shamir, God bless your seed, LaQuentin Bell, God bless your seed, Chocolate Doll as usual, love you woman of God, always sowing into me, God bless your seed, Teresa Mack, seed received, Tammy, Seed received, bless all the seeds. Connie Reese, God bless your seed. Nicole Gallon, God bless. Hallelujah, your seed. Omar Smith, God bless your seed. Kalinda, God bless your seed. Hallelujah, Shanta Tay, seed, God bless you. Keisha Jefferson, God bless your seed. Stephanie Thomas, God bless you. Latanya Keen, God bless your seeds. Latoya, God bless you. Brittany, God bless your seed. K. Hall, God bless you. Shanita Allen, God bless your seed. Nakisha Green, God bless bless your seed. Shante, Shanta Tay, God bless your seed. Taguanda LeGlair, God bless your seed. Shanta Jones, God bless your seed. Apple Pay phone number ending in 2020, 2321. Sherry, God bless your seed on Apple Pay. I just text you back. Um, phone number ending in 6445. Hallelujah. God bless your seed. Phone number ending in 4166. That's Apple Pay. Come on. God bless your seed. Phone number ending in 1337. God bless your seed. Email at jays.ram at yahoo.com. God bless. Your seed, phone number ending in 4074. God bless your seed. Phone number ending in 8055. God bless your seed. There's a bunch of people sowing right now. Hallelujah, people of God. Um, bless your seeds. Bless your seeds. There's a bunch of people sowing that $12. This is my best seed. Also, Tammy, seed receive. You sowed twice. Uh, uh, she's sowing for her children too. E-Money. God bless your seed. Hallelujah. You're sowing. Uh, let me call out some of these. Jessica Johnson. God bless your seed. Phyllis. Seed bless. Erica T. Seed bless. There's a bunch of people who are sowing. Lakeisha H. Seed bless. Uh, uh, right now. God bless you. God bless you. Angela Snow, I received your all around seed. Come on, Father God, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray hallelujah for every person right now who genuinely didn't have a seed. God bless them. Bless them for tagging and sharing. Bless their finances. God, we pray right now even for every person hallelujah is on this live who put a seed in the ground. Lord, the ones that sold that $50 seed, Blow their minds like never before. God bless them for stepping out on faith. The ones who sold the $24.71. Father God, shift, shift, move on their situations. The people who sold the $12 or anything under that, they sold their best. Oh God, God, I ask, oh God, that you send your angels to encamp around them. Father, bless, bless everybody who put a seed in the ground. I decree in the atmosphere. Huh? Go and grow huh? in the mighty name of Jesus. Huh? Lord, bless everybody who tuned in. Huh? Bless everybody. Huh? Hallelujah. Who's following me huh? as I follow Christ. Huh? I appreciate it all. And Jesus, I decree today huh? that it is done. Huh? Within the next 11 hours, huh? I decree today huh? that it is well. Huh? In Jesus' name, amen. Begin to comment, amen. Begin to comment, amen. Before everybody go, really quickly, I'm starting to do this at the end of every live. I want everybody, hallelujah, my TikTok was disabled at 90K followers. 
If you're trying to reach out to me, you can do it over on TikTok. Give me a second. My TikTok is Evangelist. Let me try to go. Evangelist Shakira M. Hold on. Let me try to get it up there. Ooh, the glare. The glare. Let me pin it to the bottom. Evangelist Shakira M. I want everybody to take a moment. Everybody who followed me yesterday, I followed you guys back. Reach out to me over there if you're not able to get me on Facebook because I have a smaller following there. I'm fighting to get my page back. They are taking me to a, through a process. But in the meantime, hold on, you guys. Let me pin it. In the meantime, I got it picked, y'all. Screenshot it. In the meantime, you can reach me over there quicker. Wait, did I hit send? Hold on, you guys. Let me pin this. Evangelist Shakira M. Hold on. Y'all can, I can see my messages quicker than I can over on Facebook. Facebook has given me seven inboxes. And within those seven inboxes, people of God, it's pinned to the bottom. Go ahead and screenshot it. Within those seven inboxes, I will follow you back over there. Follow me. I will follow you back. Evangelist Shakira M. If, oh, God. Let me see something. Hold on. Let me turn the camera around. You guys, hold on. It might be easier this way. There he is. Y'all screenshot it. Evangelist Shakira M. Follow me. I'll follow you back over on TikTok. Also, people of God, you can message me there and get me there quicker. Over on Facebook, somebody else just sold an all-around seed of $50. Stephanie Thomas, God bless your seed. Um, oh, the people are starting to follow. Project Skill of Nine. Listen, you guys. Follow me there. Over on Facebook, I literally have seven inboxes, thousands of messages in each one. Over on TikTok, you can follow me there and you will get a response, hallelujah, from me quicker, okay? You will get a response from me quicker, okay? That person, Derek Hawson, who's commenting on Facebook, I just blocked them. It's a fake page, you guys, okay? Y'all be careful with those fake pages. Evangelist Shakira M, okay? Follow me on TikTok. You can get me there quicker. People are starting to follow, okay? So I love you guys. God bless you guys. You guys have a great day.